Hi everybody, it's Mark Russian. <laughs> it's it's Doctor it's Doctor Benway, and uh, please return the scalpel. <laughs> it's it's Mark Rushton. Mark Rushton Gallery. Drinking the <laughs> drinking kefir. Kelowna Supernatural. 100% organic vanilla flavored kefir made from organic Mennonite cows and gut health equals brain health. What are you doing in the nitrile gloves, Rushton? Listen, I'm all prepared for you. All prepared for you to watch this shorter video, you know? And so it's, listen, I'm having such a great time with these, um, thermal printed photo collages that are done with acrylic ink with my pulley printer with a uh, spun bonded olefin and then later um, scanned it's fun art should be fun guys art should be fun I'm on this tangent for the time being, you know? It's all right. I'm going down the rabbit hole. I wish the pulley printer was a little larger. I guess I could scan it, print it back out, but I wouldn't print it out on the thermal, thermal, it's receipt paper. It's thermal printed. But I've got this nice scene here from the, uh, from Gray's Lake here in Des Moines. There's a little boat dock down there, which is kind of interesting. And then I have this is mountain of yes paste, which is I, way too much. I'm never going to use all this. I really need to go get some containers and, you know, get the, get the farm gloves out and uh, scoop all this out here. But I thought instead of using my, um, I thought I would just use the the nitrile gloves here. Now I gotta be careful with this. I'm gonna put that on there. All right. So this is a starch-based adhesive. And whenever you're dealing with spun bonded olefin, also known as Tyvek, you have to use a starch-based adhesive. With you cannot be using can't be using those uh, petroleum-based adhesives. It will screw it up. Right, these starch. All right, there we go. What do you think? There we go. Easy cleanup. This thing, you know, you think. I mean, look at all that in there. I feel like I could go out and have like ice cream scoop. It'd be scooping that all day, right? And this stuff here on the edge is all dried and sharp, and ah, I got to get it. I got to put that into different containers eventually, eventually. What do we got here? Look at this. All the ink on here. This thing looks great. It's 36. Is this 20? It's a 24 by 36 cradled wood panel that I'm working on here, which honestly, you know, at some point in time, I should just try to make a collage out of something this big, although I don't really have a camera to, you know, to show it off here see how that is what i've got to do is i've got to i've got to like sit down I, I know i have the time but i'm super busy lately and get like a little taller you know camera holder and then that way you can maybe i don't know we'll see it's trying to set the studio up Went to the steam room tonight. Oh my god! Testing my limits is great. Stuff I go through on a daily basis, and I just go in the go in the steam room, and just you know, I haven't done the dead hang in a couple of days. Maybe tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. I've got stuff going on. Well, I might be able to sneak in there for a minute, and do the dead hang, but. Um, 
Uh, yeah, that's my my physical regiment is um, doing the dead hang, doing the steam room, eating essentially one meal a day, maybe with a little bit of kefir, and <clears throat> that's about it. I like eating one meal a day. It gives me more time to make art. All right. Some paper towels there. Let's get started with this. Well, what are we going to do here? We get this really nice scene here. Obviously, blue is in order. Um, we put this like right here. Kind of show that off. It might be good. Get all my, you know. All my little props here and there. Should be thinking about that. All right. So let's get let's get going here. Since it's Gray's Lake, we'll have to use gray on the lake, right? But the sky is definitely going to be blue skies. Nothing but blue skies. This contrast here between the spun bonded elephant and the thermal printed paper. Just two completely different types of paper. I like how it I got to be careful with that getting into uncharted territory here with these layers it does tend to dry it also tends to soak through so don't overdo it, Rushton. All right. Nice. That's good. Good start. Good start. You know. And gray. Gray. Do you want gray or sepia? No, sepia. We're going to. We might sepia that. I do have some gray which is a rarely used color around here. Gray ink. This is, what's this one called here? Cool gray. Cool G-R-E-Y gray. Make sure that lid's on. Shake a tail feather. Let's see if there's any, uh... oh yeah, that's good. Do I want that to be, I want that to be gray. Because it's Gray's Lake. Let's smear this around with the uh, the brush. And then we're going to have to a uh, little dab will do you here. Remove the excess and then you're left with the... Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. I love these paper towels. These are the Viva um i call them viva rough it's the uh it's not the smooth ones it's the it's the rough ones signature is it the signature the viva signature uh multi-surface multi-surface my favorite paper towel you really have a favorite paper towel rush yes i do i have a favorite paper towel what about down here you know what we're doing you know what we're doing this is going to be orange orange be orange you know we could could be this stuff here it's weak ass orange here let's get it here yellow yellow you want yellow no let's do orange i like this orange one of my favorites let's do over here we'll apply it on there first 
soak up a little, and then we're gonna Yeah, you know what? You could be a little bit more. There we go. It's not going to. It doesn't really matter that much. Why don't you make these things larger? The size of a wall. Guys, give me a break. I don't sell my work by the yard. That in there. What about, what about? A little bit of red right here. A bit of red right there. All right. And this one, I'm going to push that around a little bit. All right, the red in there. Bring the orange back. I love this orange. It's good orange. All right, smooth that out. Smooth it out, guys. All right. What about down here? What about down here? What do you got? Let's Let's make that darker. I've not. I'm not going to do gray. I think I'm going to do. I do purple. Do purple or black. Do black. Oxide black. Let's do it. That's too dark. Remove. There you go. Let's bring the red back or orange. There we go removal machine there yes i think if i can also get it to remove a little bit on the thermal if i maybe maybe not try it again That's good. Like that. Well, I can't use that brush now. <laughs> I'll let that dry. That's the great thing about using ink on brushes. Is if you use ink on brushes, um, you can let it dry, and it, it, it really doesn't cake up that much. 
it's not like a pigmented well some of these inks are pigmented but um you can keep you you can use the brush later on after it dries out kind of amazing i like that i don't really like brushes anymore i like palette knives but and paper towels all right what do we got here let's take a look at this well this the gray has kind of dried up i do think about it wasn't on that's not good Let's try this again here. One more with the gray. I kind of want it just to be like blotches. I can put the blotch on there. And it blotches when I um, remove it. Hey, it just kind of comes up. It's like it doesn't soak right in. All right, so then I have to do plan B here, which is this blotchy technique. So you can pick some of it up. You can leave some of it behind. And then I have those little pools there. And that, uh, that ink will dry in the pool. How are my lids? My lids on? Make sure your lids are on, guys. Because, you know, you have to have problems if you don't have that. Okay. Uh, do I want that like that? I don't know. I think I kind of like the gray a little bit more. Okay, so let's kind of... A little dab will do you. A little bit more. Oh, yeah. That's what I want, right? Stop. <laughs> All right, let's get a little bit better, a better uh, view of this here. That, well, no. Hold on here. A little bit more work down here. And let's throw in a little uh, green, too. Whoa. Stuff everywhere. A little bit of brown. All right. Got. It. Come on, guys. Smooth it out. Little extra layer there, a little blush. Like a little blush there. There we go. How's that blue looking? It's not supposed to look the same. It's not supposed to be. There's not supposed to be a continuity concept there. Sold it there for a minute so I can see it from the uh, computer screen. That looks nice. I'm happy with that. Once that gets up, uh, so this will be. This will be, um, what, what do you call that? Cropped. It'll be scanned or photographed and cropped with, uh, you know, a one-to-one. -one. It'll be a square.
it's all in the editing. 20 minutes on this. That's kind of a long time for this. I thought it would, I thought I'd knock this out faster, but that's okay. Very happy with the results there. I love the gray in the Gray's Lake, uh, the different contrasts in the sky. Um, I do kind of want to, you know, a little bit more here. This was a little. Got it? Got it. That's better. Deep blue. Contrasting with that lighter blue. Same same shade, uh, you know, same shade of primary cyan. Just depends on how every, you know, the different uh, substrates work or whatever. That looks pretty good here. Oh, we got comments. Hold on. Oh, Mr. Murphy. Hi, how you doing, man? Up in your game, buddy. Ah, oh, well, I you, know, I, you know, I just lucked into this here. What can I say? What can I say? That's good. You know, I tried, I, I've been trying to, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, do more figurative and landscape stuff, but I'm not really one. For, I've, I have a hard time with like drawing and composition and everything like that. I'm not the kind of guy that goes out there and just, I'm going to go out there and sit and do sketching or anything like that. I like photographs, you know, and I like, I like using the little pooly printer to, to turn them into sketches and stuff like that. I like using technology in different ways, you know? So, ah, What's this here? Like, look out the back of your surfside beach. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lake. It's a quarry. It's an oxbow lake, actually. Uh, I walked around on Saturday. It was 42 degrees out, and it might as well have been minus 20. It was so windy. It's nasty, nasty, or whatever. All right. That is it for this evening. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for commenting. Mark Rushton Gallery is the website. And uh, I'll have that in there eventually once it dries and everything. Have a good, have a good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.